pictures have emerged online that indicate testing of a new and absolutely fearsome-looking naval point air and missile defense system has been going on in China since January. The available images show that this weapon system notably features a Gatling-style rotary cannon with a whopping 20 barrels, nearly twice as many the largest close-in weapon system, or SeaWiz, now in service with the People's Liberation Army Navy. The pictures, which first emerged on Chinese microblogging site Weibo and are now circulating on social media, indicate that this system has already undergone at least three rounds of live fire tests, in January, March, and April of this year. It is unclear what entities might be involved in the design of this weapon and whether it is expected to lead to an operational system or is simply a proof of concept. Gatling-type weapons, in general, are well known for their extremely high rates of fire compared to single-barrel guns or even other multi-barrel designs. China already has two domestic SeaWiz designs that use Gatling-style weapons, the Type 730, and its associated variants, and the Type 1130. The Type 730 features a 7-barrel 30mm Gatling-style cannon, while the Type 1130, first seen on China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, and now present on other Chinese warships, is another 30mm design with 11 barrels. Compared especially to single-barrel designs, Gatling-style weapons do have the inherent benefit of being able to distribute heat buildup and other wear and tear among their multiple barrels. At the same time, they can still overheat and be fired to the point of destruction. Adding additional barrels can present one pathway to safely increasing how many rounds per minute a gun of this type can shoot. So, this new 20-barrel weapon could very well be able to operate reliably at a maximum rate of fire thousands of rounds per minute higher than even that of the Type 1130. A Sea Whiz with a 20-barrel Gatling-type cannon with a very high rate of fire would, by definition, be able to put out more rounds, faster. This would be particularly valuable for engaging existing and future advanced anti-ship missiles, which are increasingly faster and stealthier, features that could shrink the available engagement window for close-in defenses.